Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through my entire CD collection. So a few months ago I posted my vinyl record collection and it seems to do really really well. I'm going to be doing a part two to that sometime probably after Christmas because I've gotten a lot of records since posting that video. But today I'm going to go through all my CDs because CDs were my first love. They were how I first started collecting music so I thought it'd be super fun to go through all of my CDs today. I've got a lot to get through so let's just get started. So first I'm going to start with like my One Direction collection because if you know me at all you know that I love One Direction so starting off with the actual One Direction CDs so the very first one is obviously One Direction Up All Night this is their debut album oh and also I'm gonna be telling you guys my favorites off of each album as we go along just to kind of make this a little bit more interesting this album means the world to me I am obsessed with it so I feel like my favorites from this one have to be What Makes You Beautiful more than this has always been a favorite and it's purely because of Niall's solo in it I also really love Tell Me lie and take in everything about you this just has a lot of classics on it and it's a super super fun album it just looks like that i'm not gonna be taking any of like the lyric booklets out in this video because that would just take way too long but yeah i absolutely adore this album it is iconic and then we have one direction take me home this is obviously their second album i have i believe like the target exclusive maybe i've got some sort of exclusive i would like to eventually maybe get the original one because the cover in the background is like black and white and they're black and white but i kind of wouldn't mind to have the colored version of this but i have a lot of favorites off of this one but first let me just show you the inside so my favorites on this one they don't know about us has always been like my top favorite from this album i remember listening to it on youtube because i didn't have it on my ipod yet and so i just had it on youtube and i would just play it on a loop for hours so i absolutely adore that song but like off of like the deluxe tracks i really like truly madly deeply that one's a lot of fun little things i love that one as well there's so many good songs on this album also i honestly cannot pick a favorite One Direction album. It's literally impossible for me, but we have the Midnight Memories. This is the ultimate edition, but it basically just comes with the album in the front there, and then like a bunch of pictures of all the boys. Niall. It has messages from each of the boys, and then I believe as well like credits for each song. I also adore this album. It's pretty self-explanatory. I adore them all. I love Story of My Life off of this one. Does He Know has always been a favorite. Half a Heart. I think Half a Heart is my favorite off this one. Or Story of My Life. But Best Song Ever is also really, really great. And Midnight Memories. This album was an iconic era. I think this was honestly like one of my favorite eras of One Direction. They're just so cute. <laughs> and then obviously we have Four, which was the last album with Zayn on it. The track list wasn't like actually attached to the back, so I just have it right here. But again, same deal. Album in the front in this little slippy case part. And then like a message from the boys and pictures and such fun stuff. But my favorites off of this one, 18, so good. Fool's Gold. Night Changes, Fireproof, Act My Age is such a bop. This album is so good. Also Clouds, that one holds a special place in my heart even though I don't listen to it very often because that's how they opened up their On the Road Again tour which is the only time I was able to see them live. Yeah, I don't listen to that song very often because it honestly kind of makes me sad because I miss them so much. But yeah, just, oh, I love this album so much. And then obviously we have Made in the AM. I did talk about this album a little bit in my vinyl record collection because I do have the vinyl for this one. So I guess I'll say what my favorite is off of the bonus tracks. And if you want to know my favorites off of the album in general, then you can can go ahead and check out my record collection but off of the bonus tracks i really love walking in the wind and am am was my like first favorite off of this album and i was devastated when i realized it was not on my vinyl but yeah i absolutely adore this album it's so emotional to me it's obviously the only one without zane on it which makes me just so so sad but again it just kind of has the lyrics in here and pictures of them good times okay so those are all my one direction albums so now we can get into some of the solo albums so i do have hs1 so harry styles this is his debut self-titled album it's very similar to the one direction ultimate editions where it has just a bunch of pictures of Harry. Very cute, adorable. I have not looked through this in a very long time, but then it just has the album in the back here. Um, oh, it also has like a little, a little booklet thing. Oh, this has the lyrics, duh. <laughs> But yeah, my favorites off of this album, again, it's just on a separate piece of paper, which is kind of annoying. Sign of the Times will always and forever be truly iconic. Two Ghosts was also my, like, first favorite. Sweet Creature, From the Dining Table, Meet Me in the Hallway, all of those songs. I adore this album. I miss this era so, so much, honestly. And then obviously we have Fine Line. So this one just opens up and it just has the album 
right there. I actually got this free with my concert tickets that I bought for Love on Tour that actually ended up getting canceled. Didn't get to see them, it was tragic. But I did still get the CD from buying those tickets. So my favorites off of this one. Oh, there are so many good ones. I really love Adore You. Falling is my ultimate favorite. Like 100% my favorite Harry Styles song ever, I think. To Be So Lonely, I've been really um, attracted to in the past few months, as well as Sunflower Volume 6 and Treat People With Kindness. Those ones I've really been gravitating towards recently, but Falling is my ultimate favorite off of this album. It means so much to me. And this is just such an iconic era, obviously. I don't have Harry's house yet. I'm gonna be asking for it for Christmas, but it's not my favorite of his albums. I'm so sorry. So then we have Niall Horan. So we have Flickr and I have the Target exclusive edition. So it just has the regular cover on the back and this exclusive cover on the front. It just opens up to some pictures of him. CD is in this side and the lyric book is on this side. But my favorite songs of this one, there are so many. This Town I feel like is my ultimate favorite just because I have such like fond memories surrounding that song when it released because he kind of just like dropped it out of nowhere. He's my favorite member out of One Direction so it was just like a very emotional time for me. I listened to it on repeat for the entire day. Had the lyrics memorized by the end of the day. It just means so much to me. But I also love Too Much to Ask and Paper Houses, Flickr, On My Own, Mirrors. It's so so good. Seeing Blind. I also really like that one. It just got a good like vibe to it. I don't know. I love Niall Horn. He needs to release a new album. But then we have Heartbreak Weather. I really wanted the Target edition of this one, but this one obviously came out right as like the world was shutting down for COVID. And so the borders shut down. I live in Canada, so I could not get to Target to get myself a copy of it. And I'm still upset about it. But beautiful pictures on the inside. Again, same thing. Lyric booklet on this side. CD on this side. For a second, I thought it wasn't in there and I was really concerned. On this album, my favorites. Heartbreak Weather is a really fun time. Dear Patience. Put a little love on me everywhere cross your mind no judgment san francisco still this album has so many good songs on it but i do think the ones that i gravitate towards the most are like still and put a little love on me i just i love the slow like ballad type songs and he does them so so well so i adore this album i think it deserved more love and i think it just came out at a really unfortunate time and then we have louis tomlinson he is the last solo artist from one direction that i have an album from so this is walls i also got this free with my concert tickets and i did actually get to go to that show thank god but i absolutely adore this album it's just plain black not very exciting so my favorites off this one don't let it break your heart that song means literally so much to me i can't even describe to you like the meaning that that song has taken on for me in the last couple of years i'm obsessed with it two of us is obviously just like so sad we made it has such a special place in my heart because he opened his tour with that song and after his tour being postponed for like two years and like everything that he's had to go through and like everything i had to go through to get to that concert because it was almost canceled it's just that him opening the tour was saying we made it was just so so special walls is obviously a favorite defenseless this this whole album was so so good i also really want to get his new album faith in the future it's all i've been listening to since it came out last week so i really want to get that one as well i just haven't gotten it yet i'll probably ask for it for christmas so that concludes the one direction portion of this video i realized that that took a long time so we're gonna go into the next ones so the next little segment are some miley cyrus albums so the first one i have is breakout my cd case is totally broken which is just so tragic but we have my cyrus breakout this was one of my favorite albums as a kid i would always put this in my cd player and just like jam around in my room to it so open it up it's a really cute like red color actually i really really like it oh such good memories associated with this album breakout was a favorite when i was a kid but i also loved seven things i actually sang it in our school's talent show even though i had no business singing it because i cannot sing to save my life but i did sing seven things in our school's talent show fly on the wall iconic iconic song goodbye is a song that i still listen to i love that song but yeah i think naturally my favorite is just seven things it's such a good song and the other miley ones i have are hannah montana ones so we have hannah montana 2 and meet miley cyrus so this one is a double cd so we have the hannah montana one here and then you whip it over and it's the meet miley cyrus it's a super fun time why is the hannah montana cd flying out of here okay so my favorite songs off hannah montana 2 nobody's perfect obviously rock star life's what you make it true friend true friend was always a favorite on meet miley cyrus see you again 
absolutely adore that. I literally listened to that in the car yesterday. And I miss you. I miss you always made me sob as a kid. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember a lot of the other ones just off the top of my head. So I should re-listen to this album so I can figure that out. But yeah, I think definitely See You Again and I Miss You are my favorites off of Meet Miley Cyrus. Then we have Hannah Montana Best of Both Worlds concert as well as the Miley Cyrus side. We love the era of the dual Hannah Montana Miley Cyrus CDs. But this one, again, same deal. It's a dual CD. Oh, actually, it's a concert CD on this side. And then it's a bonus DVD on this side. I didn't realize that. I thought it was like the Hannah Montana Miley Cyrus. It's not. Oh, love that. I actually just recently watched this a few months ago with my best friend on Disney+. Plus. It was a good, good time. Anyways, so favorites, again, from the Hannah Montana side. Pumping up the party. Good times. And the Miley Cyrus is a lot of the same songs that are just on this album so we'll just go with see you again okay and then we have hannah montana the movie soundtrack i love this movie literally so much i still watch it all the time i've got a super fun cd right there this one has so many good songs on it but i think my favorite is the climb or butterfly fly away that one gets me my feels literally every time i should listen to the soundtrack again because it is a plus plus now we've got camp rock so this is for the first movie. It's this super cool, like, foldy one. So we have the soundtrack and then another bonus DVD. The lyric booklet is in here. And if you look closely at it, it is well loved because I would constantly pull this out and read from it. But I think my favorite off of this album has to be It Gotta Find You. It is just so iconic. And I realize this movie is not good, okay? Even for Disney Channel level, like, it's pretty bad. But I still love it. So I'm not going to be ashamed for that. And then we have Camp Rock 2, the final jam soundtrack. This one has some great songs songs as well. I love Wouldn't Change a Thing. I feel like that's definitely my favorite. I also really like This Is Our Song. Also, I totally forgot to show you the CD. This is what it looks like. Okay, now naturally, to segue into more Disney Channel movies, we have High School Musical. This one's the same kind of deal. It is a foldy one with the two different discs. So again, we have the soundtrack. And this is the karaoke CD. Never used that before in my life, but we have the soundtrack right there from this one. I think When There Was Me and You and Breaking Free are my favorites off of this one. They're just so much fun. High School Musical 2, the music just gets better with this one. Love the look of this CD. It's like very doodly kind of looking. It's fun. This one has such iconic songs in it. I love I Don't Dance, Gotta Go My Own Way, Every Day, and Bet On It. I mean, of course, bet on it. But I do think my ultimate favorite, maybe, is I Don't Dance. It's just so much fun. Um, Work This Out is also a good time. Fabulous. I mean, obviously, this is just such an iconic movie and soundtrack. I'm literally so happy that I own these on CD because I feel like it would be near impossible to find now. But then we have my favorite one, High School Musical 3, a senior year. This is my ultimate favorite High School Musical movie. It just gives me all the good vibes and I love the music the most. So picking a favorite is going to be quite hard. Now or never is just such a fun way to open the movie. I love that song. I want it all. Obviously, Sharpay's song, iconic. Then we have Can I Have This Dance and A Night to Remember and Just Want to Be With You. And then the boys are back. Walk Away, Scream, High School Musical. I literally, I can't pick a favorite off of this one. I really, really can't. They're all so good. Look at that CD and look at Troy and Gabriella dying. I absolutely adore this CD. And then the last like soundtracky type of CD I have is Grease. This is one of the newest additions to my collection because I actually found it in our basement. It was my mom's and she said that I could have it. So we have Grease. I feel like obviously we have to love Summer Nights and Hopelessly Devoted to You. But I honestly think my favorite is You're the One That I Want. I don't know why. It just brings me a lot of joy and it's fun to sing along to. But I also like Grease Lightning and there are worse things I could do. Rizzo's song. That one's really great. But I do think my my favorite is You're the One That I Want or Hopelessly Devoted to You. So now we have a whole bunch of Demi Lovato. I don't own all of Demi Lovato's albums, but I do have a fair few. So I have their second album, Don't Forget. I absolutely adore this one. It's so much fun. Look at that CD. So my favorites off of this one, La La Land. I mean, come on. I used to always sing that on my Disney Sing It. Get Back. Don't Forget. Obviously, it's title track. I don't know. I feel like my favorite has to be Don't Forget. That one is so iconic. You know, like as a kid singing that, I would like cry to it and and it's like, what, why am I crying to that? I obviously cannot relate to that song, but iconic. Then we have Unbroken, which I feel like was another iconic moment. I love their lipstick in this picture. 
so beautiful so the cd in this one is just this beautiful like brown color my favorites off of this one i feel like have to be fix a heart give your heart a break and skyscraper honorable mentions my love is like a star and for the love of a daughter love those songs i really like sad songs i'm a sad song kind of girly so i do i do love skyscraper i think that is my favorite off this one which i feel like is like a cliche kind of answer but i do love it I also feel like I don't fully have a favorite Demi Lovato album because I feel like there are songs that I don't love off of each one and so it makes it hard to kind of pick an overall favorite. But then we have Demi, their self-titled album. Love the look of this one as well. I love Nightingale off of this album. That song is so beautiful. In case something that we're not, never been hurt, shouldn't come back, Warrior. Warrior. Yeah, I think it's between Warrior and in case maybe in the last couple of years i've really become attached to that song so i love this album and then we have confident again another iconic album just a sleek little black design there on the cd i feel like my favorite off of this one is stone cold and father but honestly looking at this one this might be one of my least favorite albums i don't know why that's just a gut feeling that i have but I do love stone cold and i mean obviously confident is also like a really great song i don't know I don't know i really like this album though it's just i don't know if it's my favorite and then i don't have tell me you love me I have that on vinyl though so if you want to know my favorites from that just go ahead and check out that video again i need to get their first album i do not have their first album and i honestly think that's a crime but then we have dancing with the devil the artist starting over this is the target exclusive cd because i really wanted those bonus tracks i think this might be my favorite even though there are also songs on this one i don't enjoy but i do think this one's my favorite anyone is such a special song because of like the circumstances behind it and it was also like the first time we got to see Demi perform post overdose it was like at the very beginning of 2020 at the Grammys they were so emotional at the beginning that they were crying and I definitely like cried because I was just so grateful that they were alive and they were well and they were able to sing and just like how everything just worked out after the overdose I don't know I just I love Demi Lovato so much and so that was just such a special moment to witness Dancing with the Devil I also adore I think that was my top song of last year on my Spotify raft because I just listened to it for like a straight week like that's the only song that I listened to for a whole week straight leading up to this album's release. The Way You Don't Look At Me it makes me so sad along with Melon Cake. I really like 15 Minutes as well. Butterfly. Butterfly is such a beautiful song about their dad and Good Place. And I also really do like the bonus tracks. My favorite one off of those is I'm Sorry. I have not listened to those in a while because I haven't listened to the CD in a while. But yeah, I do. I do love this album. And then I don't own their newest one because honestly, it is definitely not my favorite. Um, I do love songs off of it, but it's just not really my vibe. So I probably will not own that one. But then we have my little mini Taylor Swift collection. Currently, my vinyl collection for her is more extensive and I've bought in more records since my last one so I'll definitely update those in that video whenever I make it but two of these are from when I was a kid and one is more recent so the first one is Fearless Taylor Swift this is the stolen version this is not Taylor's version I'm going to be asking for Fearless Taylor's version on vinyl for Christmas which I'm so excited about but this is the platinum edition like I said I've literally had this since I was a kid so I remember like nothing about it but this one is a video DVD so I think it comes with just a bunch of like the music videos and things like that but yeah so off of this one there are so many songs to love on fearless i feel like 15 was always a favorite for me as well as like love story obviously and you belong with me i really like breathe and the way i loved you come on the way i loved you no i think that's my favorite especially after the show this summer i turned pretty and how it was used in that scene I can't so yeah you know what I think the way I loved you is my favorite then we have it speak now which I think is one of my favorite Taylor albums definitely from like the earlier days this one's my favorite but this one just looks like this and I guess this came with a coupon for some cover girl when did this expire this expired June 30th 2011 love that okay i have so many favorites off of this album speak now obviously story of us never grow up was always a favorite for some reason enchanted haunted i feel like i've been really really attached to haunted recently long live back to december there are just so many good songs on this album i feel like this was such an iconic iconic era and i literally i cannot wait for the taylor's version because i just want to hear her voice now singing these songs but i also want to know what the vault tracks are going to be on that so 
hopefully she releases that very very soon and i will be buying it i love my little stack going on back here and then my last taylor swift one is a folklore i also own this on vinyl so i did talk about my favorites for this already but i feel like right now my favorite song is peace maybe i feel really attached to that song recently but this one it's just like the album cover on the CD. I feel like this is just going to fall over at any second. Okay, so now we have my mini Selena Gomez. Specifically, Selena Gomez and The Scene. Because those are the only ones that I own. So we have Kiss and Tell. And I'm going to be real honest. I have not listened to any of these in a very long time. So I might not remember most of these songs. I feel like I love The Way I Loved You on this one as well. We love the same titles. But I honestly do don't remember what it sounds like. I feel like one of the only ones that I remember is Tell Me Something I Don't Know because it was used in another Cinderella story, which is a movie that I adore. I feel like I might remember it as a blonde. I remember naturally, obviously, but I don't think that was ever like a huge favorite. I don't know. I have not listened to this album in so long. Maybe I should give myself some homework from this video to just listen to a bunch of these CDs because I feel like I just don't remember any of them. We have A Year Without Rain. This one I feel like I remember a bit better. We love A Year Without Rain, the title track, obviously. Yeah, and then I don't remember the other ones besides Round and Round. <laughs> I feel awful, like I don't remember any of these, but this album is super pretty looking. I need to listen to this again because I feel like I really, really loved this one and I just don't remember any of them except A Year Without Rain. Ah. Oh. I should have like prepared for this video better. Then we have When the Sun Goes Down. This one I feel like I remember better, maybe. Love You Like a Love Song, obviously. Who Says, yep, those are the ones that I remember. <laughs> but obviously Who Says is my favorite. I think that's my favorite Selena Gomez song in general, although I really, really love her new song, My Mind and Me, from her documentary. I also just like love the old like 20s Hollywood look of this album. Okay, so then we have Adele 19, super fun. I feel like my favorite off this one is Make You Feel My Love or Chasing Pavements, but honestly, I don't listen to this one very often, so I don't remember most of the songs. And then we have 25, this is my favorite Adele album. I have so many favorites off this one. Hello, I Miss You. When We Were Young, I feel like is definitely my favorite. Remedy, A Million Years Ago, All I Ask. This is like almost a perfect album to me. I adore it. And unfortunately, I did not like her new album. I do want to get 21 eventually, but... Okay, and then we have Teenage Dream by Katy Perry. Look, it looks like a peppermint. I think this is my favorite album from Katy. I feel like my favorite off of this one is The One That Got Away, or not like the movies. But as a kid, I was really attracted to Pearl and Hummingbird Heartbeat for some reason but I think now my favorite is not like the movies or the one that got away and then we have Prison by Katy Perry this is the last album of hers that I fully listened to but I love By the Grace of God Love Me Ghost she put the track list on this so weirdly Unconditionally yeah, this one had a lot of great songs on it. I saw her tours for both of these albums and they were both so fun. Like she's such a good performer. And then we have Pink, Hurts to be Human. Again, I need to get more of Pink's albums because she's one of my favorite artists. I just haven't done that. So we've got pictures in here. The album is in here somewhere. But I think this is my favorite Pink album. I love Walk Me Home, My Attic. Can we pretend that one's good? Happy, Makes Me Cry, Love Me Anyway. I love the sound of that one. Circle Game, this one has so so many good moments on it okay so the next one we have is little mix dna again don't remember this one basically at all i'm not like a huge <laughs> little mix fan or anything yeah gonna be honest the only songs i remember off of this off the top of my head are wings and dna i honestly don't even remember how i got this or why i have it but i do <laughs> so similar situation to that one i don't listen to this literally ever but i have a troy savan's like first ep i think wild don't listen to troy savan literally ever cds in there i do like again some of his songs but yeah i don't remember literally any of these i think i remember wild maybe okay the next one we have calm by five seconds of summer this is my only five seconds of summer cd i randomly found it at walmart one day but i just knew i had to pick it up it's just kind of like the album cover on the actual cd i actually haven't listened to this on the cd yet but i love this album red desert is a lot of fun easier Teeth, Wildflower, Best Year's Lover of Mine. Okay, I feel like my actual favorite is either Teeth, Lover of Mine. Oh, I don't know. Old Me is also really, really, really good. I don't know if I can pick like a definitive favorite. Maybe Lover of Mine or Teeth. 
I have no idea. Okay, and the last ones I have are all Elvis. So we have Elvis the Platinum Collection. So this is 75 original hits on three CDs. And I love this because these CDs all look like little records. Adorable. So let me give you my favorite off of each disc. So on the first disc, there are some good ones on here. I'm thinking either Can't Help Falling in Love. No, I think I'm gonna go with Can't Help Falling in Love, even though there's some really good songs on this first disc. Like All Shook Up, Jailhouse Rock, Love Me Tender, Hound Dog, but I think I'm gonna go with Can't Help Falling in Love. I'm off of disc two, Blue Suede Shoes. That's the only one that I remember off the top of my head. I'm off disc three. Oh, I don't know if I know any off of disc three off the top of my head, but I do love this little collection. It's very cute. And then we have Elvis pure gold this one has some songs probably all songs that are on here but the ones i know are jailhouse rock all shook up and love me tender and out of those three i think all shook up is probably my favorite and then the final cd is a christmas one so it's if every day was like christmas this is what it looks like i did not show you pure gold just looks like that so i think i'm just gonna go with blue christmas because surely blue christmas is on here so that is my entire cd collection i have no idea how many are here i'm gonna have to count them up but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a huge thumbs up comment down below and tell me if you remember what your very first cd was i don't know which one of these was my first one but it was probably something to do with hannah montana or like high school musical that just seems like that makes sense to me but yeah subscribe if you have not yet already and i'll see you guys next time bye